Welcome to Attican Plays Railroad Corporation. All right. Hi, this is Attican, and welcome to Series 10, Episode 2 of Railroad Corporation, uh, the Civil War DLC. We're in Mission 1, which is called Powder Keg... What is it called? Powder Keg... <laughs> Gunpowder keg, that's it. Gunpowder keg, and uh, <laughs> and um, uh, in the first one we got off to a really strong start. Uh, we're now, I think we are cash. Yes, we are a on cash only basis now. That, by the way, you use your bonds to rapidly grow, but there's a point where those bonds are the one thing that could kill kill you, even when you're being successful. And that's because a big bond comes and hits you at the wrong time and you end up more than 50,000 in debt and bye-bye, you're fired. So what are we going to do now? We've got, we've got a decent economic engine with our um, mail and passenger lines running off these big cities. We're working on um, getting our reputation up with the Army. We are in the process of moving um, <clears throat> gunpowder to New York to get brownie points from the South and we're responding to various tasks from the Army to get brownie points with the North. We're also, um, as you can see, leading the way in supplying gunpowder, which is our main objective, and we're doing that um, by basically siphoning off or taking the gunpowder that our purple dude up here is doing such a great job of creating. So there's 45 in there, and we can step that up whenever we feel like it. Uh, the flow of that, I should say. And we're also taking the same thing here. We're taking the ones created by our green partner up here, our green competitor, and moving them into Laconia. We're moving the uh, purple one into Albany. So we haven't actually done anything with it ourselves. We've got one down here. The only thing we've done with it, it came with 35 in it, and we're just uh, taking those and moving them down to New York to get uh, brownie points with the South. So basically, we're in good shape. Now, what I want to do now, I want to make our oil business better. I want to get the flow of oil down here to Manchester stronger. I want it to be a quicker, easier thing. So. The way to do that is to get it so that our trains don't have to go through all this traffic of um, this green guy here. Now, we could conceivably just run, I mean, we could double and triple track his track, right? That would be one way to do it. But I think what I would prefer to do is give them a kind of a, a path that doesn't go through so many other towns. Because every town, every town you go through, you stop at, regardless of whether you're actually stopping there officially, if you pass through that station, you, you uh, are, are making a stop. So um, let's see if we can't come up with something. And that means I have to build a bridge, which is uh, not the easiest thing to do. I honestly just don't know how to do it. Um, I, I know the idea. I know I can raise it up. The problem I have is um, <clears throat> I wanted to go up here, raise it up, and then go across. That doesn't seem to work. Maybe it would work. Would it work like this if we went up to level six right here? Then went across. Yeah, that, okay. Now that worked. And then we went back down over here. And let it run till that track clears. There we go. Now, all right, so now we should have a path. I'm hoping that'll give us a path down here. And what we're gonna do then is double track this uh, we will expand this to a level five, and I'm going to go ahead and make it a super station while I'm thinking of it. And then we're going to double track
lease back to here. We can double track back to here. And then it'll be interesting to see. Now our trains are already kind of gone, so hopefully when we see them again and they come back, we'll see them coming this way with the oil. That will improve that flow significantly. I mean, we could even, we could even try this. We could even go like that and give the possibility of coming out of here and coming straight there with your delivery instead of having to go through all this crap that the uh, our opponent has set up. All right, so, um, all right, that, I hope that will improve the oil. We won't know for, for a minute. Uh, but what I really want to do, now that we've got that big bridge, I want to get into the weapons business. Now that's going to take some investing because we're going to have to set up a um, a steel mill and the weapons. So, because we need the uh, these lubricants, we need uh, lubricants and steel in our weapons. So what I'm planning on doing is taking that space right there, that open plot, and putting in a weapons factory in Manchester. That way the lubricants can just be fed straight to the weapons factory. And then what I think I'm going to do is go right over here. There's a spot right here in Marlborough, and we're going to try to put in a steel industry uh, because we've got both things we need, the ore and coal, right up here in um, Granville. And Granville doesn't have an open slaughter. I'd use it. So let's just see if we can't run a track. I'm going to cancel that. I want to expand the station first. Okay, and then I want to run a track out of here like this. So now we've got a double track from Granville to Marlboro. Next step will be to buy this land right here. There we go. Now we've got a building site in Mar 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 Marlboro. <laughs> now, what we need to do is improve it a little bit. Uh, it needs to be able to talk to Manchester without any issues whatsoever. So we're going to build a track. like so, and we will double track it. Into Manchester, okay. And, man, we are, we're racking money now, it seems like. Okay. Um, now we're going to construct a, a steel mill. And we're going to set up lines. And look at this, look at this. We've got the American 12065, the Memnon. One, okay, we're going, to go, we're going to go with Americans for this. We're going to buy an American. We're going to go... We're going to haul five ore to our steel mill. Then we're going to take back
passengers. And then I'm going to uh, duplicate that, only pick up coal. Okay, so that'll give us coal and uh, uh, sorry, as I stutter, coal and uh, ore coming to our steel mill. And all right, we can start researching the forney. Okay, we finished our army request for wood. So let's see what that means to us. Uh, it means that we had these trains right here going into uh, Albany. They can't sell any more wood. We don't have anything for them to do right now. So let's do this because I should have done this in the first one. Let's just uh, run that. Um... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe if we had a, actually had a station there, it would, it would be better. Let's run. Uh, keep going. Okay, and let's just connect it on the other way just in case we need to. Okay, so now let's tell this train. Uh, don't go to Albany. For a while now, I want you to go down here and unload your um, wood. And your next stop will be there to do an unload. And then T24, you're okay. Oh, okay, this one has upgraded to a Memnon. So we can uh, bump up its load. <laughs> I do that every time. There. We can improve its load. We can even, uh, we, don't even we don't care about the passengers going back. They can stay at four. And let's run it for a bit because we need some money. And do we have any tr trains just asleep? No, everybody's busy. That's a good sign. See, we're losing, we go in a hole like that because we're making these big purchases of very expensive goods. I gotta be really careful not to let the money get too low because even though we're on cash basis now, it would be easy to goof up. Is there anything really good out there I would wanna grab? Cotton stations? No, not really. All right, now we're going to need a train to take our steel, which we'll be producing fairly soon. Oh, we already are. Good for us. Okay. You. Grab three steel. Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. All right. We're going to have to wait a minute. We... We, get, we need to do step uh, step two of the plan. We want to buy this. They're not going to make it easy, are they? Okay. Now we've got a, a great spot, and we're going to throw a uh, weapons factory in there and you see it takes the uh perfect uh no i don't want that 195,000. so let's wait till we save some money we've got our spot reserved and we'll get up to at least 250,000, so we don't make a make a some kind of goof with the purchases because the scary thing, I mean, having, for example, the Memnon over here buying four of these at a time means he's spending like almost 50000 on one purchase. This guy here, for example. And are there any laws we care about? Coal and Granville. Ooh, what, what does that mean? 
sells it lower. Yes, please do. In, uh, increases, absolute, please do. Okay. And research. All right, now, now we can get going. Now we're all the way out. We're going to do that one. Two, three, four, five. We'll have five going at a time with four people on each one. And our secondary goal in all of this is to have the Forney completely researched by the end of this. Prior to the end of this, I should say. Okay, now we've got enough money almost. There we go. Now, now let's go ahead and construct our weapons factory. Ooh, ooh, that's tight. Uh, twenty-one. What are they for? Wood, wood Albany. Yeah, of course we'll take that. Uh, we'll take uh, this guy here. Uh, apply him. Now, our money would be a lot better if we were actually producing weapons, wouldn't it? So let's see if we can't fix that. Okay, here we go. Now we got a little bit. Let's grab an American. And let's go here. Oh, I've already done this, haven't I? Well, we can use the second one for something else. This guy here, I want to go one, two, three. I think four is too many. Yep. Three. And I want to go one, two, three. And you can take back... You can take back five mail if it's available and unload it up there. Okay, that should give us uh, steel coming down here to our weapons factory. And in fact, I think one other thing I want to do here. Load a couple of weapons, add Manchester again. Oh, he doesn't take it. Never shoot, shoot, shoot. Cancel. Never mind. They don't use weapons in Manchester. We'll uh, we'll get the weapons distribution going after we actually have something to distribute. Now, once we start selling $55,000 weapons that where we own everything except the raw, first raw materials, uh, we're going to be making some serious money. And we're already making some serious money, as you can see. So let's go ahead and set up that line. I want to grab... Here, let's, let's do the Jupiter. Why not? We'll grab Jupiter. We're going to say... Ooh, it can only haul one. Okay, it can haul one. Go there. Now let's do passengers coming back. Six will do. And I want to do that. Do this similar to the uh, one we did with the. Uh, kerosene and if I hadn't already started this I would just go copy that one you know what I'm going to I'm gonna cancel that I'm gonna leave this one uh, what am I gonna do with this one
oh, I'm going to put it on, um, I forgot, you need twice as much. You need twice as much. Uh, iron as you do coal. So let's get another, get that train running up there to take care of that. Oh, now, now I did think of what I can do. This guy here, what he can do here is load Load as much of that as you can. And then put Manchester in there again and unload. And then he can pick up. Let's just see what he does. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So we are producing weapons. Now I think I didn't have a weapons now. Where is the one, this guy right here? I am going to cop, I'm going to um, copy this John Bull into a an American. And then I'm going to go through and make this one weapon. Yeah, let's just follow this this one. He's routed his way to um, to uh, Manchester. And he's picked up one weapon. And he's heading for Boston. Just what he should be doing. We got two of these done. We'll start two more. There's a new tax for oil in Piermont. Uh, no, you don't want to be selling oil higher. That's no good. Okay. And our little train that's doing weapons needs to be duplicated. And maybe even again. Okay. And these weapons are worth 55,000.
Now I want to do start doing some double tracking while we're working on this, and we got uh, we can start another one, and uh, where are we? We've almost got our carriages to New York, or our uh, gunpowder to New York. Uh, we're working on this wood. That's becoming a busy station for us. Buys coal higher, don't care. Uh, start another one, reliability. Okay, um, double track. Don't just talk about it, do it. Double tracking is definitely more finicky since they've made some changes to the uh, track lane, but it still works and it's probably overall perhaps better. I don't know. They do have these directional things where you can say which way it goes. I avoid those um, unless, unless I build a piece of track that's pure and I know has no trains on it. Uh, then maybe I would set the directions. Otherwise, just have the double track. Let them take whichever side they want and if they need to go and there's and their uh, um, little block, they'll just uh, they'll just go anyway. Um, uh, this uh, right here. Let's uh, delete this segment for a moment. Finish that off, and then reconnect this. There we go. And then double track this. And double track this. There we go. Anybody good? Uh, coal and iron would cost you less. We could use her. Rails, now we just finished doing rails. Construction, nah. Nah, we're good. All right, uh, go, go, go. 
you see we're killing the competition now, just using their own stuff. Uh, textiles, don't care. Okay, Abraham Lincoln was elected. <laughs> Paper demand now back to normal. Whiskey prices have risen. So we can get into the whiskey business and make some more money. Entrepreneurs from southern states are afraid of Lincoln's politics. Will it trigger a conflict? Eh, probably. I think it might. I think it just might. Okay, this guy right here, uh, if we wanted to speed this up, I actually don't want to speed this up um, yet because I'd like to get this up high enough and we're way ahead of our competitors. So I don't think there's anything to worry about there. And we can speed it up anytime we want to. Uh, reduces profit. No, you do not want to do that. Uh, we need to get steel. Uh. Okay, we finished our wood. So let's pause that and take our wood uh, delivery mechanism here and take that out. Go over back over here for a while. Uh. Let's uh, let's upgrade this to a, an American. And yes, I know I could be running fornies that have some um, upgrades, but we'll just stick with the American for the rest of this. Uh, it's an American now, so it can load how many? Uh, seven would be fine. Oh, uh, one other thing I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure it's going here next so it won't overload on this next trip. Okay, uh, we're through with you guys. Here's the first time I've opened up the contracts and I'm just, well, boy, it would be some easy ones to fulfill like uh, weapons to Hartford, pay us 850000 Ooh. Hartford, where's Hartford? Right here. Hey, we've got 2,000 days to do it. <laughs> Why don't we, uh, shoot, let's, uh, let's sign it. Why not? Um, and let's have, I wonder if a Forney could carry two in its current state. No, it can't, as a matter of fact. Can only carry one. Let's have it go straight down here to our contract. that and let's run three of those suckers and let's take this guy right here and schedule him for fornification here um, we'll probably have to watch him there now he's a forney so you know what, I'm, I'm going to leave him on the same setting. It's just too much trouble to try to change it. Now what we could do 
is you know where we've got two two trains running on these lines. One forty can handle the whole thing beautifully. What is that? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Three, six, nine. That's better. How'd that happen? Uh, we need more steel. Oh, we got plenty. We just need more steel delivery. This T30. Where is it going? To New Haven? I don't know how it decided to do that. Uh, but our steel delivery... Which one is that? Steel, steel, steel. Well, shoot. Our big challenge right now is just getting all this done before, I mean, getting any of this done before we finish the mission. We're going to finish the mission too quickly, I think. Oh, 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 uh, time out. These guys here are trying to, um, yeah, we're just going to, they're trying to draw from a, an empty well here. So what we're going to do here is set up a line. With three of those and bring it down to New York. one train will actually fulfill that one task once it gets up there and we're pushing it pushing the limits on the game right now by having so many trains running but so be it and we are we're gonna to finish too quickly to get this done I can see it tax for grain in Granville I don't really care Let's cut this one off right here. It's getting a little bit long, and we'll wrap things up in episode three. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player, and I hope you'll join us for our next Railroad Corporation video. Thank you.